30 cards in hand, eight total hand traps, and we just OTK. This goes to show the hand traps don't do sh**. A lot of people have trouble with hand traps, as do I. I have trouble not laughing at how absolutely garbage they are. A cool ambulance! But not for me. I'm going to show you in this video how to destroy hand traps in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I'm going to actually be playing the best deck. And my opponent is going to have eight hand traps against Pendulum. How do they have eight hand traps? Obviously, one of them are maxi. And they drew into every hand trap known to mankind. And I'm still going to do something very special. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see what happened. It's so special. Because I'm going to show you the hand traps. You know, they seem nice. You can end the opponent's turn. You get a hand trap. That, but it doesn't actually do anything. Except for make you lose. Hand traps suck. And I'm going to show you why hand traps are overrated right here right now watch this video stay tuned to the end and you're gonna see exactly why if you first time on my channel you smash the subscribe button right now because channel videos every day videos every day on the channel and you know videos and shorts every day and starting now you can even join and be a channel member down in the description below and get your beautiful trip game play mats if you want to join the tcg because you have to it's the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. anyways let's get straight into this video i don't obliterate hand traps in Yu Gi Oh master duel and a little hint i otk versus eight hand traps all right watch how i do it let's go i'm gonna show you guys right here right now why hand traps are overrated and they actually suck i'm gonna do something absurd versus eight hand traps i look at my hand and it's a classic pendulum hand broken just like every pendulum hand alicia my opponent does brick however as maxi and the maxi will end up drawing eight hand traps so what will i be able to do versus eight hand traps well let's see starts off with the halfness of my blue boy big value here and the halfness will send keldo also scream so get a good plus for next turn uh but the keldo is seems like it's gonna be dead it will put in great work versus my engage so my engage is now not what it's supposed to be thanks to the keldo so it is not ironically a pretty good card for video purposes here i'm gonna treat keldo as a hand trap so let's see what is gonna end up happening searches the salyak and i'm gonna go for mastery that gets hit with ash so instantly i'm down a lot of cards already but i'm like i'm playing pendulum eight hand traps by the way and they're all gonna put in work so what's next let's draw why not right let's keep drawing so i'm gonna go into knowledge and i see my graveyard has three spells exactly so i want to just test my opponent and see if they're gonna keldo on the engage or can i get six spells first if i get six spells my engage resolves to draw so what do i do i engage right off the bat because if they decide to shuffle these three back right away i could get my my hornet i could put three spells in grave with talents and into the void i want to save talents for the very end until they have like 10 cards in hand to do it at the very end to look into their hand to get rid of the nibiru before my fifth summon just in case he played nibiru that's the only way i lose is nibiru plus a hand trap so i engage right away just to see if they're going to shuffle they decide not to and i get the free draw i understand them not doing it but if they like if they did decide to shuffle it back i would simply just put three more in there with hornet and thing and then just engage after anyways uh sadly i did draw into my hornet with my draw and my widow so the engage isn't going to be absurd value anyways so we're going to go into the void now we're going to talent so i'm like you know what let's draw two because drawing two is better than than getting rid of one and I, my whole game plan here is i'm going to i could summon so much i could uh, arguably arguably deck them out but I'm like, let's just get as much plus as possible so we get everything we need. I'm going to do this cool play here to make sure that Curtain Razor does not conflict with the Sky Strikers. Where you go Curtain Razor and you chain Widow, chain Hornet. So then I take Havnis just to get a free body. Get Curtain Razor and Kagari. This is a perfect time right now for him to use uh, Keldo. He does, Alicia does, does not know that I play only Hornet and Widow. But by Kagari targeting Engage, this is a huge time that he could shuffle back. I end up targeting the Hornet, which was a mistake. Still forces him to shuffle back. But I should have targeted Engage because that would have guaranteed force the Shuffler. Good for them. That was fine to do. Now I'm going to go Souls. And instantly on my Souls, I get hit with Kelbeck. Ah! Now, there's not many times in this deck, in a Pentium deck, that you can hit with Kelbeck. So I understand them using the Kelbeck uh, on the, uh, my Souls. Because not many times you could possibly use it. As you see here, we're really just eating through hand traps and interruptions. Like, it, it, it's basically not even there. So, we're going to Desires of the Magistrate. Like, look, I am on, they're under Max C, but I have more cards than they do. Max C, Ash Blossom, Kelbeck, Shuffler, Havnes. It's five interruptions already. So, what are we going to do next? Well, let's go into Dark, because I want to try and bait my opponent, just in case they have a Bestial or anything of that sort. So, by Darking a Havnes, it could trigger them to use a Bestial. Uh, they 
end up ghost spelling the dark which you're not ghost spelling anything in pendulum other than dark anyways and selene summon from grave so that that could be done as well but that's exactly what i'm doing the way you destroy hand traps is simple you bait everything known to mankind think of what your final end board end play is to win and it's the otk so i'm saving my access code talker to be protect my access code talker plus mighty master is 8100 points of damage so i'm trying to set that up right now protected by a vortex or a jackal or i could put access code and vortex both on attack with a random monster in attack or jackal in attack etc so i'm just trying to set that up right now by utilizing every other card in the game to bait all the hand traps so i can actually get there freely and safely because if you notice how i'm link climbing from soul like soul is just there to get some value dark is there to get some value the random one of spells like talent just gets some kagari just gets some value kagari ate up two hand traps kagari ate up keldo or sorry uh the shuffler to get rid of the search back and then also it, it made him cal back it back to the extra deck so it got rid of two cards and it drew me a free card too so the, the value of engage was just absurd uh next we're going to selene selene will then be able to store counters and then special jackal instantly i'm protected from nibiru now this jackal will stop any other hand traps so he's already went through a five or six or something already six hand traps already I'm going to go beyond the pendulum. The reason why is the jackal could just get pen summon back anyways. I'm going to then serve it. And I'm going to pendulum everything. I still didn't use a lot of cards. I'm going to use beyond the pendulum here to pop chicken game and magister. My next play here, I'm going to go into Selene. Because uh, I want counters on the field for jackal. And Selene could summon back for free. I'm going to Selene bring back the souls. Instantly, he's going to ball drake. There's nothing else to a ball drake. He drew, drew ball drake a little late. But I'm going to negate the ball drake anyways, knowing that my Selene is going to turn into an access code pretty quickly. So this Jackal won't be able to get full value. So I just negate the ball drake. I'll, I don't want ball drake to get another interruption, another beast deal. My opponent currently has 30 cards in hand. Doesn't matter. And I'm now going to Absolute Dragon. I'm going to put this into cro uh, access code. Not, I'm not even going to go for Cross Sheep because there's no point. Access code Talker, Jackal, Vortex, Curtain Raises, just game anyways. Access code, Absolute Dragon Dragon's going to trigger. Access code is going to trigger. Get Vortex out. Vortex is going to bounce back to Calibac. He's going to chain Beast Deal Magnemite. And instantly, I'm like, I don't care. I'm just going to access go talker anyways. And then I'm going to enter battle and OTK. 30 cards in hand, 8 total hand traps, and we just OTK. This goes to show the hand traps don't do shit. If, sorry, they were going second. And they had 8 hand traps, and I couldn't OTK. Uh, like, I don't have an opportunity to go OTK when I'm going first. It's a little more difficult. But hand traps going second, that's very easy. Now, when you go first, and you're dealing with 2 hand traps, it's the same premise as what I just showed. We just OTK through 8 hand traps. But when you're going first and you can't OTK because OTK is not, is not on the table, you go through the same premise. Instead of Axis Code Talk or Vortex being the end goal of the OTK going second, your end goal should be your, your Pen Summon or Electromite to Resolve. That's my end goal. If you're playing Tier Limit, your end goal should be Kikalos to Resolve. So I would, if you're playing Tier Limit and you want to know how to play around hand traps, I would use every single card in, in my hand before I use Kikalos to search. And I just want my Kikalos to resolve. And once the Kikalos resolves, you win the duel. So I would bait everything they have or set up a negate for Kikalos or something along those lines or use it as my last line of play. Uh, try and get them to bait Rhino Heart. Use Shiren to bait an Ash. Use whatever the heck on God's Green Earth. Then you win the game. Ten best deck. And that, that was that was a piece of cake. Because uh, Pendulum is just the best deck. That was old TK versus eight hand traps. The shit was insane. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, make sure you smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!